Hello everyone, today I want to share with you the Montessori activities that I have set out um, for children ages 2 to 6 years old. I have three children ages 2 to 6 years old and I have set out some activities here for the week that I want to share with you. Um, so whether you are a teacher, a homeschool parent, or just a grandparent who's looking to supplement um, at home, these are some great activities that you can um, do with your children. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with this basket with the butterflies. Okay, so this first activity here is a butterfly recognition activity and I have different cards that I have um, printed from the internet. Um, I created these and then I laminated them of different butterflies, realistic pictures and their names and their scientific names. And then I have the actual butterflies so that I can do a matching activity with them. And these are Safari LTD, and they're very realistic butterflies. They're going to be matching these to the, um, the pictures. So, for example, this one would be this orange sulfur. They we're going to continue matching all of them until they are done. And then I have another activity, which is uh, the life cycle of a butterfly. So they're going to be putting these in order. These are also from Safari, Safari LTD. They're going to put this in order to um, go over the life cycle of a butterfly. So this is going to be something that they're going to be doing. All right. And here I also have a butterfly printable. And this is from the department, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Forest Service. And I went ahead and I laminated it when I got this. And then we're just going to be going over the different names of the butterflies. All right. So that's that. Moving on to the next activity. Okay, going on to the next activity. Here I have an activity to go over the organs of the human body. And I found these printable online. And I'll link it below for you guys. I got it for free. And then I got these figurines, these figures of the different organs of the body. And they're going to just simple, simply match. For example, over here, we got brain, brain, we got kidneys, kidneys, we have lungs, lungs, and they're going to go on and on, and we're going to go over the different parts, different organs, and where they're located, what their names are, and so on. Okay, moving on to the next activity. And this one over here is an addition activity for my oldest child. And she has two dice here. And then she rolls it. So one plus four. What is one plus four? One plus four equals, let's see, where is five? Five. One plus four equals five. The child will continue rolling and diff do, creating the different addition equations. Um, as a way to practice their number facts, um, their addition. Six plus one. Six plus one is seven. And these are um, wooden tiles that came from my Montessori hundreds board, and I'm using it for this purpose. Six plus one equals seven. The child would go on and on practicing these addition problems. This is a good way to stay away from the worksheets and get them to practice their math facts. Okay, moving on. This is going to be a geography activity to learn capitals. And I got this from Lakeshore Learning. And these are different puzzles and they're divided into the different regions of the United States. This is the northern region. And these are self-correcting puzzles. And the child is to find the capital for each of the states for each of the states. So, over here, Augusta, Augusta, Maine, and they're self-correcting, so if it doesn't fit, that means it's not the right one. Um, let's see over here, Harrisburg, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The child will go on and on, completing the puzzle until they are done here with this puzzle and I got this one from Lakeshore Learning and I'll link it below for you. Okay moving on to the next activity. 
This is a simple Montessori activity to learn letters. Okay, so here I have some cornmeal in the box. And then I have some cards that I got from the Target Dollar Spot at the beginning of the school year. The child is going to be tracing with their finger how to form the letter correctly. And then they're going to do it here. And then they shake it up. And then put this letter at the back and go to the next letter. Very important that the child knows how to form their letters correctly. The child will go on and on doing this with all of the letters. It's great letter practice um, and children really love it. Going on to the next activity. This one is for my oldest and this is a uh, language arts activity. She's going to be sorting these verb, nouns, and adjectives. So, this is number tiles. She's going to take these letter tiles. Yellow is yellow a verb, a noun, or an adjective. And I'm going to be describing what this is. So, I'm going to give her the definition. She, she's already been working on this, so she knows that an adjective describes a noun. So, going on to another one, for example, ride. This is an action an action word, so this is a verb. So she goes on and on sorting school, a noun. Um, she knows that it, it, it names a person, place, or thing. So she goes on and on sorting all of these. And I'll link these below. I got these from Amazon. And you can do a lot of different activities, uh, sentence construction, sorting activities like this, different things you can do with these. Um, they come in handy. Okay, going on to the next activity over here. I have an activity for the four-year-old and I got this a long time ago at a local teacher supply store and this is basically I don't know what this is from it says Didax Didax is the company that creates these so the child is basically going this is a self-correcting puzzle bear what does bear start with it's going to find it B, B, bear. Going on to the next one, and they're going to be laying this on the table when they're working. Panda. What does panda start with? What does panda start with? P, P, panda. And they're going to see that it matches, and they've got it right, and they're going to go on and on until they have finished all of the different pieces. Okay, moving on to the next activity over here. This is a puzzle, and this one is going to be done by my four-year-old and six-year-old. But I am giving a little challenge for the six-year-old. So once they take this puzzle apart and put it together, which is a little difficult, they're going to be matching taking these little words. And I got these, again, from a local supply store. Like I got a lot of my things from a local supply store. Arm. Foot. They're going to be labeling things. Wrist. Hair. Going to go on and on labeling things. Knee. Chin. On and on until they have completely labeled the little boy over here. <laughs> this is going to be a good activity for both of them to do. And it has a little added challenge with the matching the words to the little boy. Okay, moving on to the next activity. And this is for the four-year-old. So... Again, I got this one from the dollar um, spot at Target at the beginning of the year. And she's going to be matching these. It's like a little puzzle. I actually got this for like a dollar, I think it was. She's just going to be matching. So she's able to read two, three letter, four letter words already. So she's able to do this. The four-year-old. So cat. Cat. And these are self-correcting. So she's going to go on and on until she has matched all of them. It's a great reading activity just to go over those four-letter words, three-letter words. It's going to be good practice for her. Okay, moving on. Over here is another activity. And this activity I also got at the 
Target dollar spot at the beginning of the school year when they had a lot of the school supplies. And this is an alphabetical order, put the letters in order activity. A, B, C, D. And the child goes on and on, putting the letters in order, completing the puzzle, and then they're going to be making something, and it's going to be an animal at the end when they're done. This is great alphabet practice for the four-year-old. Okay, moving on to the next activity. This one is for the baby, the two-year-old. I call her the baby because she's the youngest one. Here I have these little cards that I made on the computer. And they are realistic pictures of real animals and insects and bugs and things like that. And I got these Safari LTD figurines. And I'll link them below. I can find them online and then the child would do matching so fish fish ladybug ladybug this is great for visual discrimination this is also great for literacy as they are learning the names of these animals so it has a lot of different things that helps it helps the child with I always like to start off with matching when I do my story activities with little ones they really enjoy it Matching and sorting are my favorite things to do with the little ones, the, the one and the two year old. Here is a sorting activity and I have little things in this container and the child is going to sort. Basketball, butterfly, ladybug, going to go on and on sorting. This is great for visual discrimination. Sorting is a pre math skill that needs to be learned and mastered in order to move on to math in preschool and in kindergarten and it's a great way to start off math with little ones. If you have a two-year-old, it's a great way to start them off. Um, this is also good for concentration. The child needs to finish sorting all of these without uh, getting up and finishing and then they are to put their tray right back which instills discipline in the child. So, it's great. Here's another one. This one is for the um, the six-year-old and these cards I got them at the Target dollar spot again you gotta love it they have so many great things for teachers this year and these are little uh, cards that help the child with money so they ask the child to do different things here's X out money that adds up to two dollars and fifty cents um, so it has different things X out money that adds up to one dollar and fifty five cents and they're going to use this dry erase marker to do this. This is a great activity to go over. Um, money and counting. Here's another one here. This is a science activity and this is mainly for the four-year-old. And this activity here is from a, a science pack um, for preschoolers and kindergartners that brings um, mainly all of the things that Preschoolers and kindergartners need to know for science and it's a great little pack and it's actually a cut and paste pack But I've laminated it to make it durable And I'll link that below for you guys. So they're classifying living and non-living things. So for example Let's see This calculator is it living or non-living? Non-living Let's see over here this tree This tree is it living or non-living? Living, the child goes on and on sorting all of the different little cutouts here that are laminated. Okay, moving on. Here is learning flowers, and I created this activity a long time ago. I, so I looked up all the flowers that are common here in my community, and I want my children to learn the local flowers, to learn the local birds, to learn the local trees what's around our community and what are these things called so here I have different flowers this is just basically a matching activity so I would lay these out and the child would lay these out and they would just simply match and practice the names of these different flowers so for example here harebell harebell rose rose the child goes on and on sorting all of these. And I am going to check if I still have these available. Um, I'll put it for free so that you guys can download it. I'll try to find it. 
if I still have it because I created this many many years ago okay and the last activity I have here is sorting bears and this is for the two-year-old and she's going to basically sort these bears yellow blue green and she's gonna go on and on again this is great sorting is a pre-math skill she's also going to be learning her colors practicing her colors reinforcing the color names she's going to be um, working on her concentration skills as she finished she's sorting all of these little bears which takes a lot of concentration um, for a child to finish okay so those are all the activities that I have for this week for the kids and I will link below a lot of the resources that I mentioned here so that if you're interested in getting it for your children you can also get them and be able to find them and buy them online I hope you all enjoyed the video if you want to see more videos like this let me know and I, and I can try to make these weekly or bi-weekly um, for you if you find these useful I look forward to sharing more with you if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe um, and click on the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Until the next time, bye-bye. Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you how you can create a Montessori shelf for your children or for your school, for your homeschool.